What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition with my current subscribers. So welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. It's a free general collective reading for all signs. Got some stats for everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. Love you guys. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Um, my, sub uh, blah, blah. my subscriber count is going to remain private until YouTube makes every content creator make it public. I think that's either on the 27th or the 29th. Um, it came up on my top of my screen when I log in, but um, I clicked it off. So it's either the 27th or the 29th. But it's for all content creators um, that are going to make everybody go public. So when they make everybody go public, I'll go public. Just saying, just saying. All right. I love you guys so much. Okay, so this daily tea for today, 722 of 2022. Um, yeah. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, a... A hidden, uh, a strategically placed hidden camera in a skilled nursing facility is about to become very, very, very integral in a, an abuse case. Um, um, I heard um, the the family and the patient's family have been building evidence off of this um, strategically placed camera in the resident's room. And um, it is about to um, it is about to yield a lot of evidence. I heard it already has yielded a lot of evidence. Many people are about to go down. Many people are about to go down. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I've been picking this up for the last couple months. Um, for anybody who's been watching my channel for at least the last couple months, I've been picking this up in the energetic space the last couple months. Some, there was somebody that placed one a couple months ago and then somebody that was about to. Of course, you can't go around for, you know, y'all know I'm an RN, been an RN since 2013, uh, licensed since 2013, and um, was working in the workforce as an RN in 2014 in the state of Alabama, but um, which is where I live for newbies just joining. But you can't like like the resident can't go around and place hidden cameras in other residents' rooms, but if they want the hidden camera in their room, they can. Of course, you know, in the course of the patient's family can place it in their resident's room with the resident's consent. If the resident is of sound sound mind and body to uh, put it in there, you know. Uh, but if they have POA, like if they have um, Alzheimer's or dementia or something, you know, very, very, very severe, like cognitive disorder to where they're so lost in the sauce um, and they have POA, you know, but, the, but my point is they can't go around placing it in other residents' rooms. That's, that's breaking the law. Just saying, just saying. Um, but whoever this is, um, it is their own resident room. Um, and I heard it was a patient family and the um the resident so the resident and the resident's family so the resident is of sound right mind sound and body so i don't feel they have alzheimer's dementia um something of that nature um they they're a right male right mind sound and body um i heard they have already collected evidence and they're in the process of collecting more so um, you plug in how it resonates. I heard it's going to be used um, for a lawsuit. It's going to be used for a lawsuit. So you plug it in how it resonates. Already have such good evidence. Already have such good evidence. And about to collect more. Already have such good evidence and about to collect more. So they already have such good evidence and they're about to collect more apparently. Well. Um, 
I don't know what the crap is going on in a skilled nursing facility. Um, I heard it was a skilled nursing facility, um, which trust me, I've worked in many skilled nursing facilities. <laughs> you gotta get, uh, mm, I've worked in many of them. So it all depends on what staff you have that actually cares or which it's, it's hard few and far between to find people that actually care. And that's just the damn truth. And that's what another thing that really pisses me off when people go around wrongfully terminating people in the freaking healthcare field when one our healthcare field is understaffed as it damn is, and you go around wrongfully terminating folks when you need the staff any damn ways. And two, most of the staff that works in healthcare don't care; they're just in it for the money, and that's just the damn truth. So, as a healthcare professional myself and a licensed RN for forever. That pisses me off, but you know, you can't control other people's actions. You can only control yours. So, but whoever these people are, their ass is about to get busted. Trust me, I've worked a lot of long-term care, and the thing is, is um, these assholes are about to get busted. Just period, point blank, bar none. They're about to get busted, and that's just damn truth. They should have. Um, um, they're obviously not providing the care they should be providing, and um, it's some kind of abuse they're doing um, to the resident or um, to the resident or the resident's family or both. Um, I didn't hear specifically what it was. For some of you guys, I feel you might know this hidden camera is placed in somebody in a resident's room. There's a reason I'm picking this up today. So I think one of you guys knows the hidden camera is placed in somebody's a residence room or you help place the camera in a residence room there's a reason i'm picking this up today and i'm just being for real so you plug it in how it resonates these healthcare professionals are about to ever 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 regret working at this facility. These healthcare professionals are about to ever, ever, ever regret working at this facil facility is what I heard. It's a skilled nursing facility. I heard these healthcare professionals are about to ever regret working at this facility. Well, they should ever regret abusing person, people, place, or situation. Um, people that work in healthcare are very greedy and that's just the damn truth. They're very, very, very greedy. And I'll tell you that from experience very greedy. Now, should you be compensated fairly for um, your work as a healthcare professional? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Was I as an RN making like $19 an hour as a night shift supervisor back in 2014? No. Was I as an RN working hospital having a patient load of like um, 7 to 11 patients at a freaking my first hospital at a Compass Health and Hospital um, Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital in Huntsville, making like twenty two fifty an hour. That was with the raise, and being there you're like a year and a half. No, um, was I? I no, no. Period. Point blank. No. But you know, I can't change the way people treat me. I can only change my life and what I do in my life, and that's just the truth. You know. My city's not correct. That's the whole reason why I'm about to um, move the hell out of here. People aren't correct. And that's just damn true. Number 216 or 37 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 216 or 37. We have main female upright, thoughts upright, poverty upright. Some of these employees stole money from a previous co-worker in the past. They're about to experience huge negative karma because this a lawsuit's going to come up with this soon for abuse. Resident abuse. Resident rights. Okay, I heard some of these employees... Um, so some of the employees that are caught on this hidden camera in this resident's room, um, so co-workers of the facility, employees of the facility, I heard they stole from a Fem Energy co-worker in the past. So they stole from a Fem Energy co-worker in the past. 
put her in poverty. So they stole from their own co-worker. They, they're abusing residents, um, using residents, residents' rights, so they're not fulfilling the correct residents' rights or um, doing their job the way they're supposed to be doing it anyways. And um, it sounds like their negative karma is about to be in the form of a lawsuit for abuse. Abuse. Um, through, um, through abuse of a resident. Through resident abuse. I heard they're not fulfilled. They're abusing the resident. So how are they abusing the resident? And they're not, and something about resident rights. So they're not allowing resident rights in some shape, form, or fashion. Or breaking the resident rights or something of that nature. And I know you guys, I'm sure you guys know, but there are, when you enter a skilled nursing facility or assisted living facility, there is a thing called resident rights. Period, point blank. There are. I think this resident has read the resident rights or the family has read the resident rights. They are about to take some action. This family's not playing around. Period, point blank, bar none. They are definitely not playing around. They're about to go for it. They're definitely not playing around. They're about to go for it is what I heard. So this family is not playing around. Um, they already have evidence. They're about to gather more. And whoever the hell these employees are in this skilled nursing facility, they're shysty as hell. They stole from a Femme Energy in the past one of their previous Femme Energy co-workers. They made her poor. They stole from her. Um, but somebody, the energy is about to shift, and buddy, that hidden camera is about to become very significant in a lawyer's office, or lawyer's office. And I'm just being for real in this resident's room. Ooh, so much truth is about to be exposed. This uh, video camera footage is about to be played in front of many people very soon. So much footage is about to be exposed, and this video camera is about to be uh, played in front of many people very soon. So, um, I think um, I think the resident is about to get what their family member to um, take it to the lawyer's office. Um, I heard they already have a lot of evidence, and they're about to garner, garner more. And um, it sounds like they're about to have what they need, if they don't already have what they need. And that's just the truth. Main female is poor. Somebody's thinking about, I mean, they made their previous female employee poor, but they're about to get their negative karma in the form of a lawsuit. Um, somebody's thinking about this, or this could be the lawyer that's thinking about um, all the, um, when they see the, the video camera evidence, the lawyer thinking about all the video camera evidence that this um, resident's family and the resident has garnered from all these employees. Or the employees, when they get in the middle of the damn lawsuit for um, abuse, because it's regarding resident abuse and resident rights, meaning they are not fulfilling the resident's right or rights, and they have abused the resident in some shape, form, or fashion. So this could be the employees. They're about to give in on this lawsuit, having thoughts about how they stole from this feminine energy in the past and how they've abused this resident or residents. You plug it in, how it resonates. Well, they shouldn't have done what they did. And that's just the truth. The lawyer this family has acquired is a law dog. They are not going to back down. They are going for it with the evidence. The lawyer this family has acquired is about not to back. They're not going to back down for their law dog. And um, they're going to go with it with the evidence. Well, I don't blame the lawyer. I would too. Um, they should have did what they did. And that's just damn true. If you agree to work um, somewhere, you need to fulfill your job requirements. And that's just the truth. So many people don't, especially in healthcare. They have so many excuses. Oh, I'm so busy. I've still got this to do. And still got this to do. And still got this to do. Well, hell, I do too. 
but you got to prioritize. Write your shit down. You can document after you get off the floor. Get all your documentation in. And then you go, you can clock out. Healthcare is very unexpected. Anybody that has worked healthcare knows that. It's very, very, very unexpected. Do you usually clock out at the time you're supposed to? As a nurse, LPN, RN, if when you work the floor? No. I don't care if you're bedside nursing in a hospital or you're floor nursing as a med part nurse. Now, is it easier from a nurse with a lots of experience? Can tell you. Is it easier to clock out on time or before time at a skilled nursing facility? Oh, yeah. A lot easier. Especially if you have a lot of uh, experience. Uh, there's been many a times when I work PRN from October to, what, like March or something? Or whatever, whatever. Um, at this place a couple minutes from me uh, that phased me out because I was PRN. Um, that I left early. Yeah. But was there times I stayed over documenting? Yeah. I mean, it really all depends on the day, the day and the shift and what has happened. Did you have a fall? Did you, um, did you have two falls? Did you have to do a report? Um, blasey, 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 blasey. I mean, did you have a skin tear? Did you have two skin tears? Did you have a fall? Did you, I mean, did you have an elopement? I mean, so many things could happen. And in a blink of an eye, and that's just the truth. And lawsuits are very, very, very real. Very real. And that's just the truth. These people are about to ever regret it. Ever regret it. These people are about to ever regret it. Ever regret it. Well, yeah, I'm sure they are. But as a healthcare professional, that's part of the. Th that's part of it. You learned that in nursing school. There are things called lawsuits, and that's just the damn truth. These people, I think they've been probably been uh, in the healthcare. I didn't hear they were. I just kind of feel they've been in the healthcare profession for a long ass time, a long ass time, and they never thought a lawsuit would come to them. They just go into work on their scheduled day, all happy and daisy, or maybe unhappy and undaisy, um, maybe bitching and complaining, maybe happy. Telling about their vacation or what have you, what have you. Um, but how that resonates, I think they've been working in the healthcare field a long time because they're messy. They're messy. Usually people that enter in healthcare profession at the beginning, they're not messy because they they have they're fresh out of nursing school, fresh out of healthcare professional school or certification or what have you, what have you. And they don't want to make any mistakes because it they ram it down your throat in nursing school about lawsuits. So, and that's just the damn truth. So, I don't think this is a person fresh out of nursing school is what I'm saying. Now, of course, I go in every single job with lawsuits on my mind because I don't have another income coming in. It's just me, single mama over here. So, I, I don't care how long I've been in the nursing um, in the nursing profession and the healthcare profession. I always think of lawsuits. But yet, I don't have some another bed, a body laying in the bed next to me with another income stream with a hundred and fifty thousand dollar, three hundred thousand dollar income stream, and I I have to I have to worry about it. Whoever this person is, I don't think they have to worry about it. And they they've gotten so lax and so lazy lazy cool, it's about to backfire on them. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. I'm just being for real, man. I'm serious. This is a skilled nursing facility we're talking about. Whoever this is. The unexpected. The family's about to take this uh, evidence to the lawyers. I heard the lawyers are law dogs. They're not going to mess around. Number 43, it could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 43, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 43. This is about to cause a huge lawsuit. A huge lawsuit. 
And in one of these situations, the administrator is going to get brought into it. And in one of these situations, the DON is. And one of these situations, the ADON is. And in one of these situations, another administrative personnel. Infection control. Oh, whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So in one of these situations, it's not only going to be the floor nurses about to get caught in this lawsuit. Um, I'm assuming nurses. It's either LPN. LVN or RN about to get caught in um, floor nurses about to get caught in the lawsuits. Um, floor nursing, you know, working the cart like I did. Or, and in some of these situations, the administrator, so the administrator of the whole facility is about to get caught in the lawsuit, which is the head over the entire facility. Some situations it's DON, director of nursing, so the head leader in the, um, in the facility about to get caught in. For some, it's the ADON, the assistant director of nursing, about to get caught in the lawsuit. And in some situations, it's another member of the administrative team, i.e. infection control. So infection control is basically, they have that position to, um, in the facility to decrease infectious, um, infectious diseases and to um, Increase cleanliness in the facility, um, like, you know, decrease C. diff and um, BRE and things like that. Um, really infectious things that could really impact people's health in the facility, basically. Unexpected. These people are about to get brought into it. For some, it's administrator. For some, it's the DON. For some, it's the ADON. For some, it is uh, infection control in the facility. I don't think they're going to expect getting brought into this lawsuit. And let me tell you, from working a lot of um, healthcare, a lot of nursing, for a lot of years, people, when they go into, especially long-term care, and they pick spots, like apply for spots in um, especially long-term care, they don't ever want a floor nurse because they don't want to be in the middle of a lawsuit. I don't mind it because I know I'll say and do my docu documentation. That's just the truth. CYA covered your butt. I've been in it long enough to know, you know. So I don't mind it when I do it. But some people will not, will not take a position that is a floor nurse position because of shit like this. And that's just the truth. They will pick the DON position, the ADON position, the um, infection control. And, well, administrator, you've got to have a certain licensure. But, um, and you do for some of these other ones too, like the DON, you, I think you have to be an RN. I don't think you could be an LPN. Um, ADON, I'm not sure. But however that resonates, um, um, they won't pick the floor nursing spots is what I'm saying. They think they're too, they don't want a lawsuit. They don't want to be in the middle of um, hidden camera instances. They don't want to be in the middle of hidden camera shit. Because people, or at least I would hope, most people know that People do, they do this shit all the time. I saw it done when I worked in Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital here in Huntsville when I worked there for about a year and a half. In the hospital, people were placing hidden cameras in their room in the hospital. I've worked in many facilities where people place hidden cameras in the resident's room. It's just the truth. Of course, they have the right to do that. But they do it because of lawsuits and abuse. And that's just the truth. They don't want to be taken advantage of. And that's just the damn truth. And I know they know how healthcare professionals are. And a lot of healthcare professionals are like that. And I can tell you from working with these crazies. And that's just the damn truth. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, we're done. I hope this helps. If you think anyone else would um, like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media. Word of mouth, very much appreciate it. Someone is about to talk to their um, their resident family member soon about placing a hidden camera in their resident room for safety and to see what really is going on. Okay, that could be the unexpected too. Someone's about to talk to their um, resident family member. So I feel this could be you, sir, ma'am, about to talk to your resident family member about um, getting, I heard, um, it sounds like purchasing or acquiring a hidden camera to place in um, your loved one's room. Um, 
oh, I'm assuming with their consent authorization, I'm assuming your resident is clear cognitively. They're A and O times three or four. They, they can have a legible conversation with you. They're not mentally disturbed. And um, you're going to talk to them about um, getting a hidden camera in their um, place in their resident room for their safety and to see what's really going on. Um, they will probably agree to this. They're not happy. They would probably agree to this. They're not happy. Okay. So for you, sir, ma'am, I feel you watch my channel or you're about to come across my channel, how that resonates. But how that resonates, you, um, whoever this is for, this message is for, you are about to um, talk to, you have a family member, a loved one in a resident uh, facility. I feel it's long-term care, but for some, some it might be assisted living, but I don't feel it is. I think it's long-term care. And, um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. And you're about to talk to them. Um, about implant, um, not implanting, but placing a hidden camera in their room, which they have a right if they want to place it in there, um, to um, see what's going on and to see um, see what's really going on and for safety for her, um, his or her safety, the resident safety. Um, I think so you can help keep an eye on what's going on through this hidden camera or to see if they're the employer employees are abusing your resident or what have you what have you um i heard they will most likely agree because they're very unhappy so the unexpected is um you having this conversation with your loved one in a skilled nursing facility i'm feeling for some it could be a hospital like i said i hail off people I, when i worked in the hospital there was people placing cameras in the hospital too so for some, it could be a hospital, too. You plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. Only you know your story, not anybody else. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day, and namaste.